Hello guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub, and I'm going to talk about Jelly Bean on the Google Galaxy Nexus. It's a beautiful device with a 4.65 Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1280 by, I suppose, 720. Now, so Android 4.1 or Jelly Bean is a major improvement over the ice cream sandwich in terms of performance and not so much from an appearance point of view. It pretty much looks the same as the ICS interface, however, it has significant performance and software tweaks. To begin with, let's unlock the screen. So you see that it has this radial circular effect, which I think is pretty cool. Now when you wish to unlock the screen, you have uh, three options, camera and uh, unlock the phone. So this is pretty much the same as the regular ICS. But you have Google Now now. So what is Google Now? We will talk about that a little later in this uh, review. So let's go ahead and unlock the screen. So it looks like ICS. And let me take you to the About screen first. Now my camera is not focusing too well. Anyway, so there you go, Android version 4.1 on the Galaxy Nexus. Now, to begin with, there are major, major performance improvements. It's very smooth. With Project Butter implemented on the Jelly Bean, you can totally feel the difference and well, I'm not sure if I can exactly demonstrate how smooth this is right now. Um, I've used ICS and that itself was quite an improvement over honeycomb and gingerbread. But uh, with Jelly Bean, it's a whole other experience. It's, it's amazingly smooth. It's fabulous. It just responds so well. It's, it's actually buttery smooth. And as it says, Project Butter, um, Google has implemented on this. It basically implies that they want the interface to move as smooth as butter. And even when I go inside, it's it's very smooth. And I think on the video, it kind of looks the same as it would look if I, if I was doing an ICS video. But uh, it's very smooth. You have to be able to do this um, in reality to experience this. Uh, it's great. It's really nice. Very, very responsive. Now, another major set of improvements has been done on the notification panel. The notification panel now looks something like this. So you have the time, you have settings, you have a clear now button, and you have the notifications that uh, stack up here. Now, as you can see, the notifications, you can just move them left or right if you want to, you know, just get rid of them, or you could push the clear now button. Now, I have this, uh, a friend of mine just messaged me saying, uh, well, it was a joke, and she said, ha ha. Now, it's there, and I kept it there just to demonstrate that, as you can see, that there's a picture attached here. So, whether it's an email, it's a missed call, or whether uh, it's, a, it's a messenger message from uh, any of your friends who has a picture in the contact or the phone book of your phone, it would uh, show up. So that's, that I feel is a pretty good uh, improvement. Another thing is that when I go down, the screen automatically dims down. So the, the screen brightness goes down as and when I pull this down. So well, it's something that caught my attention, so I thought I might as well uh, convey it to you. Now, I'm going to try to give myself a missed call and show you what happens when you receive a missed call on this device. All right, it seems like I've had uh, the airplane mode on. So let's switch that off. All right. There you go. 
Now, I have a missed call from uh, my mother's phone. And now, and I also got another WhatsApp message on my phone. So let's see what that looks like. Look at that. So I have a missed call and I have the option to call back or message right here, which I think is amazing. And uh, now I have five messages from two contacts. Now, because there are double contacts or two, two people who are trying to message me, it's not showing me an image. But in general, um, if I had just one person messaging me from one messenger, I would see it right here, the picture. And uh, my mother, I don't have a picture of her right here, so it's not showing. But if I had a contact uh, with an image, the picture would show. So I could call back or message right from here, or I could just slide it and it's gone. Now that's one thing about uh, the notification panel. And I can just touch the clear option and it goes right here and comes back to the home screen. Another thing that you can do with the notification panel is uh, long press uh, a notification. And so you have this app info screen or an app info menu which you could press and uh, you know there would be some information about the application. You could stop or uninstall from right here. Another interesting thing about the uh, Jelly Bean is that widgets are now sort of intelligent in a way that if I wanted to drag and drop this uh, widget somewhere here, it would automatically shift other widgets to position this properly. So this I feel is uh, quite handy. Even if I took just one widget and went up, it would automatically drag that one down. So this is pretty interesting. Another very interesting thing about Jelly Bean is the camera and the gallery. So let's take a quick look at that. Now what's nice about this is when I take a picture, it kind of goes into the gallery with an animation. Here, look at that. See that? It was very quick, very low shutter lag. That's also because it didn't have to focus and was already focused. But anyway, did you see the animation? It was just very smooth and it, it's very nice. I just uh, love the animation. There you go. Now, another thing that you can do is now that you're in the camera mode, you could just slide left and you'd come back into pictures. And you could go back into the camera and go back into the, the gallery like that. Now, you could obviously flip through your pictures here. And uh, another interesting thing is you could uh, pinch and you can scroll through your images right here. If you don't want, and you can see the camera right, you know, the camera mode coming uh, at the extreme left. Anyway, now when you're in the, uh, when you're in this mode, you could simply delete your pictures by swiping up the image and it's deleted. It's that simple. And you could go back into camera and continue clicking pictures. Another interesting thing is uh, if you were in the video mode, so you could start recording. And if while recording you want to take a picture, just tap on the screen and it clicks a picture. Once you stop recording, you will have uh, a similar animation that says the video is recorded. There you go, back into the camera mode. Well, actually the video camera mode, and you could just go back into the camera mode. So that's about the camera and how the gallery works and how there's a very interesting way of deleting pictures in the gallery. Another thing that I would like to show, which kind of portrays the uh, performance upgrade in this Jelly Bean is, let's go into the call logs. Now, we could always switch in between uh, these three tabs on the top by simply sliding our uh, finger on the screen. In Jelly Bean and Ice Cream Sandwich, the main difference is if you were if you were if you were uh, scrolling the log, you couldn't you couldn't instantly go back onto the screen. Now, isn't that just amazing? You're scrolling, and you could just go back here. 
this is something you will not be able to do in ice cream sandwich and this kind of tells you that they've really worked hard upon uh, improving the, the overall performance of their Android operating system on the mobile phones. Apart from this, uh, I guess the only thing left is the music player. Not a lot of uh, you know difference in this regard, but uh, you know you have album view. Again, very smooth scrolling. That's because of the project butter that they've implemented. You could go into artists. Very smooth. Albums, and again, you could keep scrolling and then immediately turn to another uh, tab. So it's pretty good kind of, you know, it makes you feel that you have a really fast phone and well, yes, this is a dual core processor that's powering the Samsung Galaxy Nexus with Google Nexus, but uh, even then with Ice Cream Sandwich, I could not do this and hence I have to attribute all of this to the Jelly Bean and Project Butter, the combination. So that's it about Jelly Bean and uh, hopefully Google would, uh, you know, uh, other manufacturers would come up with uh, their own version of Jelly Bean for their devices. While it may take a while, Galaxy Nexus does have this and Google is coming out with uh, their Galaxy tablet which is a 7 inch tablet quad core processor at just $200 um, which has Jelly Bean on it. So that's it about Jelly Bean. Stay tuned for more videos and more reviews. Let me know what you think about Jelly Bean in the comments section. Thank you guys.